Hi, I'm Austin. I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. With giant scissors! <laughs> ow, ow. Yeah. We're no. here to run with scissors. That's right. That's right. We're doing the one thing we were told never to do as children. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Where we don't know what we're doing, let's have some fun. Um, uh huh. <laughs> this is your first time here. Uh, welcome. We love having new people, and uh, glad you're here with us. If you want to see our playthrough from the very beginning, you can check the top right hand corner for a link to the full playlist. Get away with me with that. Stop it. <laughs> um, where you can see all the antics from the first episode onward. Including at least one episode where we used a lot of potatoes to be the boss. That's true. Yeah, if you want to see the potatoing, um, we are here to help you <laughs> achieve great, your dreams. The great potatoing of 24. Exactly. Oh, where yeah, last we? time we got the new brand. Oh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh. Yeah, so there's a couple of things uh, I actually wanted to do here uh, to start us out. So we got... The brand here, have we gone, we, we went to the right, back to the far beach, right? I don't recall, but we can go check. Do you have, if you look in your keys, yeah, I think we got this. So let's go to, uh, we're going to go to the village of Smiles. Well, hi, Mr. Scarecrow. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover something we can use that bag of earth for. All right. I don't know if you remember this at all, but I get the feeling once we actually get here, you're going to recall who this person is. Hmm. Do, 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 do. All right. So this guy, uh, he asked us if we found a bag of earth. Oh, yeah. Back when we were here before. So let me make sure I cover which ones, what our options are here. So go ahead and give him the bag of earth. It's, it's the one. <clears throat> the soil, it's all I have now. Now, question for you. Are you looking for peace? Okay, so these questions, he's going to ask us two different questions. There is a kite shield we can get. There is a heavy armor set. And there is a great axe. And there is a dagger. Now, I think the great axe, I'm pretty sure you can get some other way. Uh, most of these you can get some other way. Um, my recommendation is going to be, especially for you, Austin, my recommendation is going to be the armor. Okay. Uh, but if you want any of those other ones, like if you want a great axe or a shield or something, we can do that. No, armor's fine. Uh, I don't have a preference. Okay. So if you do the armor, uh, do yes. Looking for peace? That's great. Great, great. Now, have you found it? And say no. Yes, that's the condition I too suffer, seeking peace and never finding it. Here, try these on. They were his. Ooh. Whose? I have no idea. <laughs> Let me see if I can do this, too. Nope. Okay. Yeah, so that's only for you. Although, did I get it, too? I don't know if it gives... Yeah, I don't have it. Um, but yeah, that's a new armor set. The white plate armor. Um, so that is something you uh, could use. Kind of a newer, um, like, you know, wait... Uh, like plate armor, knight armor type thing. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, up to you. Just mm. another piece of equipment you can use if you want. Let's um, see. Let's see how bad it gets with them all on. The dagger is pretty decent. Um, that's no, no. Um, just, just to go through the options here. If you answer yes and then yes, you will obtain the sunset kite shield, um, which is a decent shield. It's okay. It's mainly good for blocking lightning, but it's got decent physical um, obviously this armor set, yes, no, and then no and yes will give you the Outlaw Great Axe, which is a class one Great Axe. Um, hmm. and yeah, you can, you can get it in the Castle of Storms as well. So, um, you know, I usually don't recommend that one. Even if you want that axe, just go get it and get something else. Um, there is also the Eviscerator for no, no, that is a class four dagger, um, with some HP leech on it. Um... And it's got pretty decent dexterity scaling. Uh, it's it's an all right dagger. It's pretty good. Um, you can get the eviscerator some other way as well. You can transmute a dagger with a leprous ear. Um, 
So, what I would recommend uh, is getting either the Sunset Kite Shield or the Armor Set here, because those are the unique ones. So that one's yes, yes, and yes, no. Um, but if you don't feel like for fusing the Eviscerator or something, you, you, you can get that instead, you know. It's not a huge deal. It just depends on how you're building, what you want. Yeah. Now you got new armor. I do. It's ex very exciting. Pretty sure you're even faster than me now. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but I'm not fat rolling, so that's an achievement. That's true. That is a good thing. Okay. Uh, do we have a guide here? I don't remember. Uh, yes, right here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... Let's do... The Dome. The Dome! So, we're gonna go... To the uh, place I was trying to take you to before, but we didn't have the brands for it. Oh, France or... Now we have the brands, and it's pretty cool. We have the brands. Okay, so hang on right here. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, and then one dash. Yep. One dash. One dash. That's about to be like, really? <laughs> uh huh. Whoa! Hello. <laughs> All Where right. Did I go? So now we're up here. Grab this real quick. Ooh, a stone guide. Good. And we're going to do this. Ooh, floating castle. That's exciting. Mouse floating castle. I like floating and castles. We got a sanctuary right here. Laputa Castle in the sky. Yeah. This is um, my favorite area in the entire game. Um, cool. this, pl this place is really cool. I do like some other areas. Let's pop out here first. Or, yeah, go ahead and put down whoever you want. Okay. What um, do I have a lot of? Uh, guide. I would uh, do a leader here. Okay. And then whatever you'd like. I typically will do a guide, leader, blacksmith, merchant. Oh, um, you oh. don't have blacksmith or merchant at the moment, so, yep. you know, no Oops. big deal. Stick with those. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, stone guide. Got another one of those. This place is pretty nice. You get um, get some extra stuff, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's explore this area. This is not a huge area, um, but it's really, really cool, in my opinion. You're really, really cool. Oh, man. Oh, hey, guy. Ooh. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, I'm alive. How am I alive? <laughs> Holy <laughs> cannolis. I was wondering if I'd have to try out. I, I have. Uh, attuned the revive spell. <laughs> nice. So uh, I was wondering if that was about to be necessary, but yeah, it's like we're in good shape here. All right, now a lot of the chests in this castle are mimkus or mimics. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Hold on. <laughs> this one is too. Silver, silver salt start. charm. Yeah, the Silver Salt Charm is interesting. It increases attack power, but costs its user salt per attack. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. So it is a little better than the Blood Flower Charm, um, but uh, it is going to cost you to attack. So if you're at the point where you don't care about leveling anymore, or obtaining too much salt, um, it's a pretty solid one. All right, so now we go up here. Let's pop back in here real quick. Cages. Yup. Careful, you might become a canary for some monster. That's true. <laughs> oh, this place. I dream of my canary. Uh, Wanna be your canary? That's what it was, yes. I don't know why I said dream. I am silly. Because you're silly. You explained it. You answered your own question. <laughs> it's, tr it's true. Okay, so... 
We can go up here. This place is kind of topsy turvy. Yep. Good, good. Frozen reliquary here. All right. So now we're up here. Just gonna open that up. Um, also gonna kick down this ladder real quick. Eh. I don't think that one. Yeah, that's one of the few that is not. Mm. All right. Whoa. Woo. Yep. You can grab that. And I think we're in good shape. Um, that's. I believe that's all the treasure in here. Um, uh, that isn't behind the boss. So hang on right here real quick. Ooh. Okay. That's all right. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna top you up. You basically have to hop off of uh, that that little panel there in order to get to the boss. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, go. Marty Mal. That's a cool script uh, design. Yeah, I really like Marty Mal. I'll explain why here in a minute. Uh, but first of all, um, this boss has a lot of uh, attacks. projectile attacks. Yeah. Yeah, and it can teleport as well, uh, but you'll notice there's a lot of light elemental stuff uh, going on right now. Um, incantations, prayers, so. Ooh, that looks like a really rough attack. Yeah. Ooh. All right, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Yep, there it is. Nice one. Yeah. So I want you to notice how much salt did we get from that? I I don't know. I I didn't see. The answer the answer is we got no salt for killing. Okay. Radiolamal. I saw the gold. I didn't see the salt, so that would explain that then. Yep. Exactly. So, Murdy Elamal is unique in that. I, they are not a Ooh. salt born. Um, so when we met that one lady who you can do uh, cleansing and forgiveness yeah. fr from, and she talked about beings born of light, not of salt. Yes. Murdy Elamal is one of those. Oh, interesting. Yep. Um, let, me, let me see if this is going to help, actually, I think. Insectoid, Kraken, Kraken, the murder fly, the queen of the moonless sky. She exists partially in the ethereal fabric of fire and sky. Her tendrils weaving in and out of the celestial realm. Oh, fascinating. Literally a heavenly creature. She's an angel. So, yeah, yeah, pretty much. And this, this area is very short. Um, this little thing right here where that was that enemy in there. This is my favorite farming run because you get a good solid 5,500. Uh, mm. Salt for killing that guy and a lot of money. He also has the uh, possibility of dropping Lord's Orders and King's Orders. Nice. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I didn't really talk about here is we did pick up some salt containers. But we also picked up some samurai armor. Yeah, I saw that. That was cool looking. Yeah, the samurai armor is really cool. Um, so if you're wanting to do a samurai, um, you know, I've done the... Tachi, Naginata, and the Samurai Armor from here before. That's a fun little potential build you can do if you, um, you know, are wanting to do it that way. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, pretty solid armor set, too. So, if you're just looking for a good armor set, that will work for you. I will keep that in mind. All right, let's see. I don't see. know when I was leveling up. Let me see. It's working on my shield. Oh, I already got the potion bottle. All right, cool. Grab, grab a pouch. Do, do, do. I like swords. Me too. I like cereal. Do you like trains? Yeah, sure. Ha ha ha. Yes, you do. Okay, I got a bunch of money. Uh, uh, let me get to a merchant next. But yeah, that was Mal's Floating Castle. Um, this place is short and sweet. Um, and I just like the lore implications of it. The fact that we're in the moonless sky at the moment. Um, and of course, we can teleport back down to... Uh, fall back down to the ground. Ah! <laughs> Let me see. And I believe... 
So we got a couple of things we can do at the moment. We can go to the far beach and do some interesting little platforming, or we can go ahead and handle... I'm thinking we're going to handle the bottom half of the Ziggurat of Dust next. Okay. Um, let's do that. Let's do it, do it. Yeah. Uh, so if pages. our viewers are wondering why Dan is so much more um, proficient with his platforming... <laughs> um, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I'm sure a large part of it is that he, in his free time, has been running through like four other characters through Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, three, three, <laughs> oh, oh, plus this one, so like four total or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Which that's just that's who he is as a person, and we love him for it. Uh, there, there is another reason why I'm having less trouble though. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fixed my connectivity problems. Yup. Uh, that has helped a lot. Um, cause yeah, I'm, I'm not the best with, um, platforming. Uh, I'm not great at it, but I'm passable. And in this game, if I practice enough, I can be relatively decent. Um, so yeah, that connectivity issue. And then yes, he is correct. I have rolled and I'm pretty sure one of the shadows we saw up in Mouse Floating Castle was actually one of my other characters. Just holding the gigantic anchor. Yeah, that's, so. I, saw, I saw that. That's why I got a little confused there for a second. I was like, yeah. that looks familiar. I, I don't actually have my game running with that character at the moment. It's just you can see shadows of characters that have been where you are. Mm. So it's interesting. It might prioritize um, friends or something. Yeah, that's true. I could see that. That was that was spoopy. Yeah. So drop spiders, yeah, they're fun, and then we got more of them out here. Kill it kill it with fire. Pretty much. Hmm. Let's kill these things with fire. Comes another one. There we go. That chest was a mimic as well. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh, there they are. I was like, where's the where's the feet? It's flapping wings instead. Yep. There we Rude. Go. Let's go up here real quick. Yeah, so we did do a bit of a drop down. Um, I've been through this area a good bit, and uh, this is going to just take us back around. We'll pick up the stone blacksmith, but this is kind of where we were before. Uh, if you notice, that's where we dropped in there. Okay. So you can take the top area first if you want to. Um, doesn't matter really. It's just good to be able to grab all this, all the things here. Um, I think yeah. Here we go. One of them. Nice. That the little dudes there look a little bit like um. What is it? Is his name faceless or is it from Spirited yeah. Away? Spirited Away. Yeah, they do look like him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure faceless is right. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and kill these guys. So there's a bunch of these. Whenever you see these weird statues, these guys will spawn in. So, watch out for those. Alright. Um, let's kill a few more over here. Bap, 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 bap. Yeah, those guys are sort of annoying. Um, let's drop down here real quick. Okay. And fun little thing, if you can't get these little flying guys to come at you, you just jump in place there. They'll notice you. Um, I go over here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, a little scary. We. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> Wee. This is the Castaways Great Ads, Great Axe. Um, it's, it's Class 5 Great Axe, so you have to two-hand it. Um, it's a good weapon. I've been messing with it lately. Uh, it's it's pretty solid. That's the one that looks like an anchor, right? Yep, that is the giant anchor. So if you want to know how to get the giant anchor, that's where it is. Excellent. Yep. Okay, now we're gonna go in here. You're so far away. That tree is far away. Mm -hmm. eh. Help viewers, he's after me. You get back here. All right. There we go. Oops. I don't think I'll ever play a game where doing this is not disorienting to some degree. 
Yeah, it's quite strange, especially when you gotta do stuff like this, right? Ugh. <laughs> so much confidence. I love this area. <laughs> this is the, like, upside-down portion. Have confidence! Oops. Hang on. I'm gonna get on top of these. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So, let's go ahead and boost over here. I like to get the other side of this opened up a little bit. Mmm. Smart. Yeah, we'll be able to pass back. We're gonna have to upside down again here in a second, but that's alright. Uh, careful. Trap. Yep. Okay. Bye! <laughs> Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> See you later. Oh, hang on a second. Nice. <laughs> Welcome back. My salt's still gone, but I appreciate it. Ah, uh, we'll get that back. Oh yeah, it's right, right over there. there. Yep. Stupid trap. That's a that's, right. that's a pretty nefarious trap though, like for real. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's pretty rough. Okay, so this is the other side of this whole thing. Uh, yeah, watch out. These guys love to run up behind you. Hey, buddy. Get out of here. Hmm. Yeah, that trap's a particularly cruel one. Yeah, I, um, I could see that killing me at least three times before. I'm like, oh yeah, there's a trap there. I've died to it a lot, yeah. Alright, let's clear out this room real quick. Saltless are... they will kill you if you don't dispatch them quickly. <laughs> mm. I'm sure if any of our viewers have played this game, they are aware of how lethal Saltless can be. They will just pelt you with things until you're dead. Mm. Mm. A war okay. horn. Let's, let's go back through here real quick. We are going to grab a uh, treasure. So we're going to have to do the upside down here. Some other stuff Ow. Here too. Rude. Oh, was that me? That was me. Kill him! Oh. That, uh, okay. that fire is brutal. <laughs> yeah. The party has fallen. Obliterated. That's such a good word for the deaths that we encounter. It is. It is very good. Although All I think right. disintegrated would have been more appropriate for this particular instance. Yeah, true. Incinerated. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to go back over and get back to that. But we've opened up a little bit of stuff, and we'll be able to do the upside down section, and then we'll deal with. Oh my gosh! Getting the rest just opened up. Oh no! Uh, I was trying to outpace his fire, and I was not successful. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. It's my fault. I'll just start bringing out my shield. <laughs> yeah, shield is good. Um, have we... We haven't farmed that shield for you yet, right? No, we have not. Yeah, so... In case you guys are wondering, uh, if you've played classic Salt and Sanctuary, um, you know that uh, with regards... Oh, this, this is a little bit of a side trip. We're here, whatever. Um, there were different stat spreads, and the Iron Rampart is one of those that I had a question about. Uh, if the stats were um, how badly it was nerfed in enhanced mode is what it comes down to, and it needed it. it. It was it's a crazy, crazy, crazy piece of equipment, and it's still absolutely mad how good it is. Um, but uh, just so you guys are aware, uh, what happened with the Iron Rampart is uh, before um, once you got it to the fourth upgrade level, it 100% blocked. All forms of damage, other than grabs, because grabs go through shields, grabs and throws. Um, and it had a guard reduction rating that would go up to where you would take like 3% damage to your stamina for blocking. Um, what they've done now is they've lowered the overall effectiveness of most of the resistances of the Iron Rampart, and it no longer goes up in guard rate effectiveness with upgrades. However, at class 7, it still absolutely blocks every type of damage, uh, same as it used to. You just gotta get it up to, not class 7, like, upgrade level 7. Alright, we're gonna jump off right here. Oh, nice. Blood Luster's Ring. Um, 
Bloodluster's Ring, I've never really figured out if there's a mechanical reason for this, but it makes it more likely that when you kill enemies, they throw chunks everywhere. So, hmm. <laughs> it's the gore ring. Okay, um, <laughs> that's kind of disgusting. Yep. Go up here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the Iron Rampart is still crazy, and at uh, maximum upgrade, it will still block all forms of damage, and you'll take like 7% instead of 3. So, it really wasn't nerfed that hard, it's just you need to actually upgrade it to max for it to be any good. Uh, or, not for it to be any good, it's still really good, but... For it to be the ultimate shield like it used to be at upgrade level 4. Okay, finally made it back here. Yeah. Walk here. And let's open this up. This will... This is a shortcut back up to the Ziggurat of Dust oh, okay, uh, Sanctuary great. up here. Perfect. So, yeah. We no longer have to go through the little gate there. So, let's go back this way. Uh, so far away. All right, here we go. I love the Ziggurat. It's one of my favorite dungeons. I like it this one a lot. I um, I can understand. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, it is pretty Ma cool. Yeah, Mal's Floating Castle is is my favorite one. But um, you know, I'll admit it's short. It's just I mostly like it because of how cool it is in concept. Mm -hmm. Um, but when it comes to like the actual layout, the Ziggurat is really really cool. Like the upside down section is sweet. There's a lot of little tricks you can do. Um, I think the Burning Sky Ring <laughs> is a good one. Yeah, reduce cost of magic spells and incantations. Solid. So if you're doing a, yeah, if you're doing a full mage build, that is a great ring to get. Yeah, Go over here. This place yeah. is spooky. We've almost unlocked this whole place, actually. Almost completed. Stone cleric. Yes, sir. We're gonna open this up, and then, yeah, let's go upward. So, let's go over here real quick. You'll recognize kind of where we are. Never. I don't remember anything. I can't remember five minutes ago. I can't remember five minutes ago. The, the far beach. beach. Nice. Yeah. So this is... Wow. This bonfire is great for right before the boss. Which is, we literally go back down the way we came, take the elevator back down, and we'll be fighting the boss, so. Wow. Go ahead and spin whatever salt you want here. I don't have salt to spin. Well, I guess I could pop these. Yeah. Um, my style of fighting bosses from playing Years of Souls games is I try to... When I, before I go to fight a boss, I try to eliminate all of the salt on my person, as well as... money. Um, so that if I die, I don't lose a chunk of money for having them revive me or whatever. Mm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you need a blacksmith? Hmm. Or should we hold on to that one? I don't know that I do at the moment. Okay. Uh, I probably should upgrade some of this stuff at some point, but I'm not concerned about it this exact second. Okay. Oh. And Jaws, I only have it five. I'm gonna have to level that up at some point. Um, actually, you know what? Yes, let's let's do a blacksmith here. All right. You only have one. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We'll get more. Um, use a few of these to run some upgrades. Upgrade. The, oh, I don't have the salt for it though. Bummer. Yeah, I'm gonna do Jaws of Death 7 here. This is gonna be awesome. Do we have a King's Orders? Yeah, we picked up one of those. Hmm, oh, I can buy bags of salt from this guy. Yep. Okay. Charred Reliquary. Seek more gold. Yes. Yeah, once I can get it, I will 
um, show you guys the other um, night of the kitchen weapon, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I don't feel a need to really uh, use that one, but I will at least show it off. I'm just the jaws of death is just way too good, so kind of can't resist using it. Um, there are t- have enough. <laughs> you need more, more, more. I do. Um, there are two great scissors in this game, by the way. Uh, mm. The other one is called the, the Northern Cross, and it is a hybrid fizz magical weapon. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. I used it for a while, so. Okay. You got any more to do here? Let me see. That's all this guy is. Yep. Yeah, that should be enough to upgrade. Ex-potato. I finally spent all my money, Dan. Impressive. <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to do when you're having to buy salt so you can upgrade your weapons. Alright, Jaws of Death, Savan. Hmm. I keep missing him. Why are you throwing potatoes at me, dog? I keep missing! Ah! Why are you being so hateful? I need more potatoes, thank you. Okay, here we go. I like five gold. <laughs> so easy to stock with potatoes. <laughs> yeah, getting that armor upgraded. It's good. Yeah, I didn't Appreciate realize, because we talked about this previously, I didn't realize you could upgrade your armor for some reason. Like, I just didn't think about it. Yep. So, let's get a couple of these up to level two at least. That is so weird when we're doing this at the same time. Yep. This is strange. I don't have the locks of hair. It's all good, though. <clears throat> all right. Everything's good. It's fine. It's good. That is all the salt I can spend at the moment. All you can muster. All I can muster. All right. Cool. Well, I'm good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna... Actually, I have a question for myself here real quick. Do I have... No, I don't. All right. Making sure I don't have any blue. I don't I don't have any at the moment. Um, that little stair way back there that we just passed, we are going to um, be dealing with before too long here. Hmm. Uh, it's going to be a good thing to do. Downward. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. We we we. I come at my own pace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The bloodless prince. Oh, he looks delightful. Mm-hmm. He's got a sparkly red bit on his toe. Yeah. That would be because we dropped some items down here. Oh. That makes sense. That was from killing those flying guys. They are right above this boss fight. That's really funny that we've got, like, the little... Yeah, okay. Nope. Do a flame guardian here. Ow. Jeez. There it is. Yep, he's a big dude, but he's really not too bad as far <laughs> as bosses go, which is not something you're going to hear me say very often, because usually monstrous bosses or gigantic belly flopping dudes are really annoying to me and I have trouble. But right. He's just not that aggressive is the thing about him, so mm. he's, he's not too bad of a boss. Fair enough. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Oop. Grab this. Oh, was the, the expectation, expectation for us to come from this direction? Nope. 
Nope, it's just set up like this for some reason. Uh, and let's go over here. <laughs> oh, hey, it's our friend. Exactly. Hey, guy. Does this know what I have done? I mean, yes. I don't think Either that I one. do. Um, mm -hmm. Either one, yeah. I take the things I desire. I have taken so many things from so many people. Souls like scraps bound in dying flesh. I claim them. <laughs> Kingdoms of dust and lies at the princes, corrupt lords. I claim them. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Well, you have a nice day, sir. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yet another bit of dialogue from our buddy here, the Scarecrow. So, and this is the main entrance to the ruined temple here. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. We've been here before. Mm -hmm. Did you have a question? Well, I was going to say, well, not really a question, uh, just kind of like a, a thought, because you have a better understanding of how this world works than I do. Right. Um, it, it kind of feels like the... Eh. It kind of feels like the... Um, the island itself is speaking through the Scarecrow. Mm, that's an interesting thought. So, so the island is sentient? Yeah, essentially. Well, okay, so I've already been getting the feeling that, like, we should probably head back to a sanctuary, by the way, since we're about time. Um, yeah. So we have that shrine that we just got to. Oh, yeah. Um, the sanctuary we'd have to go back to would be the far beach. We can do that if you want. Well, yeah, because I'm going to have to summon you back in for our next playthrough, so. Yeah, yeah, cool. We'll do that. Yep. Um, anyway. Let's see. I'll use this. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of implication that the, uh... Hmm. Go this way. Yeah. We're gonna have to walk back there. Yeah, that the, uh, the island is, is a bit like a giant mimic. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the sense that it, you know, mimics these places that are part of the, the real world or whatever. Which, you know, it depends on how you view this island. Is, is this some sort of, like, limbo or purgatory or hell-like state. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's Hold as on. simple as just leaving the island and heading back to reality. Mm. Um, so a purgatory or hell-like state? Is that what you said? Yeah, or like some kind of limbo state. Liminal space, maybe. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And so with that being understood, it makes me wonder, like, I should level up. Yeah. It makes me wonder if there is an underlying, like, creature, I guess, that kind of controls this island and what it does. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. I like that thought. It's a good one. Mm. Yeah, there's certainly something more going on here, just with regards to, like, people being like, something's not right, why are these things all here, these places, you know, right. the ziggurat, um, uh, the Red Hall of Cages, all that fun stuff, I believe they were saying the Red Hall of Cages and, um, uh, Carfi, Carfi, uh, one of the places you can make your character be from when you're creating them. Right. Well, all these places uh, have been from the various nationalities that you can pick. Right. So. Right. Exactly. The the castle, all of that. You know, how did this castle get here? Great question. <laughs> right. So it's. I can't decide. And I, I don't even know if there's other timey wimey stuff going into it either. And I don't want to like hunker down this too much, but um like if there is for lack of a better term, an end to the planet that we were on at the beginning escorting this princess mm. if this is the place where places go to die, so to speak as the planet begins to 
uh, eat itself or die or whatever, these places start becoming more overlapping with each other and in one area. I, I'm not sure how to articulate this very well. Mm, um, I think I'm tracking with you a little but, bit. But though, think like... like Ring City, right? Where there's like mm. a bunch of different places, but they're all kind of squished together. And so you have elements of all the different ones kind of overlapping each other. Um, mm -hmm. So, but I think that still kind of touches on the liminal space, right? This is just... Sure. What happens at the end, the inevitable heat death of the universe or whatever, you know? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, that's very Ring City, right? All this stuff is getting pulled in. Right. Um, all these areas from different eras. And as we know from Dark Souls 1, not to delve too deep into Souls lore, but um, time is convoluted in Lordron. And Lordron, I take as emblematic of kind of the overall world when it comes to that problem. Um, I think the Ring City is a big supporting piece of evidence for that, that, you know, these areas from Lordron and Drang Lake and all of that um, are converging in three and they're getting thrown together in a haphazard manner and all this other stuff right. is going on. Um, the question remains, though, is that what's happening here? Um, and I think you're right to see a similarity there. Uh, I'm not going to say one way or the other whether that's what's exactly going on, but it is certainly not right that all of these places are here. Something is going on. Someone or something is at work. Right. Um, well, and what I, does that mean for us, our character, and you know, right. all of that? Yeah. I also am not convinced that these are just copies, right? Because people seem to think mm -hmm. that they're copies of places. I think these are the actual places that have been pulled into this location. Mm. Or at the very least, they are very good facsimiles of them but anyway we've yeah we've definitely exceeded our time so we, uh, we can we can harp on that some more next time yeah yeah I, I definitely think let's pick this up in the next episode um and we'll talk a little bit more about you know what you're thinking i i will um reserve my thoughts for a little bit later but we are getting through this game pretty quickly so we'll be able to kind of talk about what is overall going on as we get some of the closing pieces of dialogue here so right. yeah all right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. If you've enjoyed what you've been watching, then please do all the algorithm stuff like subscribe, notification bell, all of that. It really, really helps us and share with your friends. Let them know that, hey, there's some yahoos over here playing Salt and Sanctuary. And you should <laughs> see them following through the 17 platforms that they were trying to touch. That's right. Um, today was a rare day of skill for me. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so. Um, and if you do like what you've been watching and you don't want to wait till, you know, the next episode or whatever, we do have other stuff that's going on. It's not co-op necessarily, but we do take turns driving the game. We've got our main series games going on. Like, so right now we're going through Persona 3 Reload and mm -hmm. Mika and the Witch's Mountain is our tea time and Liza P's coming up on Fridays. And then, of course, Salt and Sanctuary on Saturdays. And those are all mm -hmm. concurrent, so, you know, uh, simultaneous running uh, series, but then we also have completed series as well. So if you want to just binge something, Xeno Gears is uh, a great place to start. If you want something that's got a real rich narrative, that's got lots of lore to explore and uh, will rack your brain, that's that's where to start. But if you want something a little more lighthearted, then of course we have like you know our other tea times, like Coffee Talk, which is a more narrative-driven game, basically a visual novel with a little bit of uh, play in it. Very rich characters, lots of fun. Of course, Little Kitty Big City and so much more. So feel free to explore at your uh, leisure. I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy and that you get a laugh or two out of the way. And hopefully it helps you decompress from the chaos that is our lives at the moment. Indeed. I know it. I will speak personally that these things help me decompress. So we hope it does the same for you, regardless of which of our series or you're watching, you know. I know with me, if my brain is getting destroyed by crazy lore, it is a very relaxing experience for me. But, <laughs> you know, a tea time as well, or just chilling and, and playing a game and relaxing is also, you know, outstanding stuff. Um, I hope you are enjoying it as well. Right. Uh, but more than anything, we're just so glad to have you here with us, letting us be a part of your day. And we do hope it is a wonderful one. And we will see you all in the next video. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching. 
Hey, yeah.